how to create and sell an ebook on Amazon. In this video, we're going to be talking about Amazon and how you can create the greatest looking ebook out there and sell it in the easiest and most simplest way. Now, basically, if you clicked on this video, you probably are out there looking for a market where you're easily able to sell your books, okay? Now, most people, what they do is they create a you know script and they create a hard book cover out of it, et cetera. And that is a good way to you know go ahead and publish your book. But obviously, in now's world, we have a whole regimen of electronic things, social media, we have uh, electronic comics, we have electronic mangas, everything is online. No one goes to the cinemas to watch movies, they watch it in their room on their laptop or phone so basically in that retrospect books were also made electronic okay so now there are ebooks and you know ebooks are much better because a person doesn't even have to go to the store to buy them they can just sit in their room open up their amazon buy the ebook read it all and be on with their day and ebook is also a very good way of making passive income. So this is the correct video for you if you're looking for something like that. So to start things off, what we're going to want to do is, first of all, we're going to come over to our Amazon where I'm going to show you where you can find the ebooks and how you can, you know, work around with your management. So over here, let's say I'm going to switch from all to books. And here, let's say you could search anything up. Okay, and look at this. It starts giving you all of these ebooks that you can download and you get a basic PDF for them. So let's say even if I write ebooks over here, they're gonna give me a lot of different categories. So and the best part is they're not even that you know expensive. It's basically a Kindle Farm ebook, and as you can see, $14, $13, maybe one dollar, etc. So just like that, you can buy ebooks as you go on. So just like this, you can sell eBooks and look at this, this person is selling their eBook for $8 and 47 cents and they have over 37,000 sales. And same with this person, they are selling the Nightingale for $12 and this person has 321,000 sales. So if you go ahead and multiply 12 by 321,000, we can see that it's quite a lot of money. So it's 3,852,000. So this person pretty much made a ebook, okay? And they made around 8 million off of it. That is a huge sum of passive income that you can be making out in the background for yourself, all right? So to dwell deeper into this and to actually have an idea on how this is gonna work, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating our very own ebook and once we create our very own ebook, what we're gonna do from there is we're gonna publish it on Amazon. So to do this for ourselves, first of all, you're gonna to want to go to Amazon KDP. So basically this is self-publishing. Kindle Direct Publishing is Amazon's very own central where it gives you tips and tricks and methods on how you can basically sell Kindle books, okay? So here it says, welcome to Kindle Direct Publishing, self-published print and digital books and reach millions of readers around the world on Amazon. So if you scroll down, you can see it tells us here, KDP provides you with free and simple tools to self-publish your book. In more than 10 countries, in over 45 languages, you can be your very own publisher, and you can even share your story. And once you share your story, you can publish it in different formats to reach more readers in their preferred way to read. And you have things like eBooks, print books, Kindle Vela, and a whole lot more. So to, you know, pretty much start publishing, we're going to come over here and they tell you the steps on what you need to publish. So first of all, the first step is to prepare your manuscript and cover files. So you format your manuscript file and create your front body and back matter, such as your title page, table of contents and author bio. Then you are going to use their free cover creator tool to download a template or use your own cover file. You can create manuscripts for ebooks, paperback, and hardcover. Now, obviously, in our case, we are going to go with ebook because that is mainly what we're here for. And you can pretty much check it out over here as well if you go over to the ebook section. And here it gives you the whole format for your ebook. So it says use the links below to learn more about formatting your very own ebook. And it gives you the different ebook formats that you need to start creating something good for yourself. All right. 
Now come back to self-publishing here on step two, it says publish in print and digital formats. You're going to enter book details such as title and the author, and you're going to upload and preview your prepared manuscript and book cover, select your publishing rights and list price, and they will make you an ebook available in Kindle stores. And they'll also print and ship your paperback straight to you. So that is pretty incredible that they do all that and they give us on demand stuff for the customers out in the world. You can also promote your books to your readers. Okay. So you can pretty much use KDP's free marketing tools to help readers find your book, offer your ebook on Kindle Unlimited by enrolling in KDP Select. And you can also create an author page to share your confirmation about yourself and your books. Okay. So they give us a proper idea on how KDP works and how your publishing goes on. And you can also go ahead and earn a lot. So you can earn more with multiple income streams, earn up to 70% royalties on ebook sales, earn your share of the KDP Select Global Fund, and earn up to 60% royalties on print book sales. So it's pretty good royalty. So basically, whatever you make on those books, 30% of it goes to Amazon and 70% of it goes to you because obviously Amazon will keep a tax for selling your product because come on, Amazon is one of the biggest e-commerce spaces out there and tons and tons and millions and millions of people daily go on to Amazon to buy something. So if they are selling your book on their well-known platform, then, you know, 30% tax is a steal. Now, once we have discussed the whole publishing part, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on join KDP. So once you click on join KDP, you're going to create a KDP account for yourself. So first name, last name, you're going to enter your email and all, and I'm going to be doing just that. Now for this step, I am going to be using a temp mail for myself. You don't necessarily need to go through with this step because I'm only using a temp mail as I just want to give you guys an example on how this is basically going to work, how this is going to look. So once you have your temp mail opened in front of you, we're going to copy it over here. So I'm going to add my first name, last name. Okay. Once we've done that, you're going to add in your email. Once we do that, you're going to add in your password and you're going to re-enter your password once again. There we go. Now, once you do that, you're going to click on create your KDP account. So once you click on create your KDP account, it's going to give you a type of a puzzle. So just go ahead and fix that up. Now, once you have this puzzle open in front of you, it says pick one square that shows two identical objects. So you're pretty much going to go ahead and see through the squares that have identical objects. And once you have chosen that for yourself, what you're going to do from there is pretty much carry on with the, you know, uh, for work. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And once we are verified, we are going to be taken straight into this section. Now it says we've sent an OTP to your email. And as you can see, here is my OTP. So I'm going to go ahead and verify it up. So 595347, we're going to copy that and we're going to bring it right here. Enter the OTP and click on verify. And now it's going to say you're going to need to add a mobile number. Okay. So you're going to do just that. We're going to come here and we're going to add a mobile number for ourselves. Once you click on add mobile number, it is going to be sending you an OTP. And once you get the OTP for yourself, what you're going to do is you're going to add it in the section. So my OTP is two, four, zero, one, four, eight. And once we do that, we're going to click on create your Amazon account. Now, once you've done all that, it's going to bring you to this section where it's going to ask you to agree to a few terms. We're going to agree to all of that. And once you agree to all of that, it's going to say complete your account information to publish a book. So to start things off, what you're going to do is you're going to click create over here. Once you click create over here, it's going to ask you, what do you want to create? So obviously we're going to go with an ebook published digitally to Kindle and the other handheld devices. And it also includes stuff like comics and manga. So over here, you're going to first choose your primary language in which your book is written. And you're also going to choose your book title. So let's say my book's title is going to be John and the, um, let's say, mysterious carpet. Let's go with that mysterious carpet. 
So once you write that down, you can write a subtitle if you want to, and then you can also add it to your series. So if your book is a part of a series or eventually will be, you need to add that series right now. So alternatively, you can add it up later on. You're also going to add in your edition number, you know, which edition your book is going to be sold on. You're going to add in your very own name in the author section or, you know, whatever author name you want to choose that is dependent on you. Then we have contributors. So here it says add up to nine contributors that have contributed to this. So, you know, editors, illustrators, introduction, narrator, photographer, etc. You can add all of them over here. I'm simply going to keep it removed. Now we have description. So adding a description is also pretty adamant because this will basically summarize your book. So I'm going to keep this blank. Then we have publishing rights. So you're going to obviously either give them a public domain work or you can say, I own this. Then, you know, what kind of audience is this book for? You know, does it have explicit images or titles, etc.? I'm going to go with no. Primary marketplace. Obviously, we're going to go with Amazon.com or you can go with any other domain. Like if you wanted to sell more in the UK, you can go with that, France, Spanish, Italy, Netherlands, whatever you want. Then we have categories. So what category is your book actually in? So obviously my book is more in the novel section, you know, so I'm going to go with graphic novels and let's go with fantasy graphic novels. Okay. Now, once you've chosen that, you're going to click on save categories and this gives the category of the book. Now, you're also going to choose your keywords. Now, keywords are extremely important when you're selling something on your Amazon. So do make sure to add good keywords because, you know, good keywords is the proper key to having good sales on Amazon. So I'm going to keep this blank right now. We're not going to go in ahead with the keywords. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to move over to Canva. And you're probably wondering why am I going over to Canva if we are making a book? Canva is the exact reason we are making a book because Canva is going to help us go ahead and create something good for us. So Canva, as we all know, is a totally free open based uh, design application where you can pretty much design anything totally for free. And the elements that Canva provides you are out of the charts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here where it says search your content and canvas. And what you're going to do is you're going to come here and write book. Okay. Or ebook, something like that. And uh, it's going to give you something like book cover or something like that. You're going to open that up and you're going to go over to create a blank book cover because that is definitely how we're going to start. Now, while we're over here, do make sure that you turn on a few things. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to file. We're going to go over to settings. You're going to click on show print bleed. Okay. And you're going to come here and you're going to click on show margins. Now, the reason I turned this on is because print bleed is basically the point at which the book is going to be printed. Now above this black line, the boundaries will be cut out. This will not be printed. So make sure to keep your designs in here and make sure to keep your texts in this dotted box over here. So first of all, we're going to add our, you know, title or book cover page. And then we, you know, just keep on consistently adding pages and creating more designs. So first of all, let's go ahead with our main title page. So I'm going to give it a nice little color. Okay. And once you've chosen your color, you're going to add in your elements. Okay. You're going to add in the flare to make it pop off. Now, what I'm going to be doing is obviously the story is called John and the Mysterious Carpet. So first of all, let's go ahead and add some type of scenery. Okay. So let's say I'm going to add some Egyptian scenery because, you know, carpets and Egypt, the stereotype matches. So uh, we're going to go here. Let's go ahead with something like this. Okay. And once we have added this for ourselves, let's centralize it. Okay, I'm gonna keep it here. And you can obviously make it slightly bigger if you want to. There we go. Now, once this is done, you're gonna come over here. Let's go ahead and search for some random person, random uh, character, which is you know gonna be John or something like that. So we do have to make sure that John is you know either amazed, shocked, or confused. 
or you can pretty much add a silhouette like this. Okay, so I'm gonna add this over here. There we go. And now we're gonna go ahead and write carpet. Okay, so do make sure to go with some fancy carpet. And this seems fancy enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this over here. Okay, and you know, to give it a slight more flair, what you can also do is you can copy and paste this exact carpet, bring it here. And once you bring it here, what you can do from there is make it smaller and uh, you can copy paste this person over here and you can pretty much put them on the carpet. There we go. So now it's a flying carpet basically. So, you know, create something like this. You have an unlimited, you know, uh, design ratio on whatever you want to create, etc. And you can also, well, let's add in the moon. Okay. So let's go ahead with this. Okay. I'm make this smaller. I'm going to bring this here and we're going to bring this here. There. And now once your main design is done, you can go over to your text section and in your text section, let's go ahead and add some cool font. So let's say I'm going to go with something like this. So John and the magic carpet. Okay. I'm going to remove this text from here. There we go. And once that is done, what we're going to do is we're going to make this text a little smaller so it fits in. Okay. And you can also go ahead and make it centrally aligned, bring it here. And there we have it. John and the magic carpet. You can pretty much go ahead and add in your, you know, credentials as well. So let's say I'm going to come here, delete this and write author John Leahy. Now, obviously the text is a little too big. So first of all, let me go ahead and delete the bottom text. And now we're going to choose this text and make it smaller. Now, once you have made it small enough to fit well in your design, what you're going to do from there is you're going to carry on to the forward pages of your design. So here we have author John Leahy, bring it here. There we go. Now we have John on the magic carpet. We have a front cover page. Now we're going to move down. And this is where you're pretty much going to start off your story. So the page for our story, we're not going to keep it, you know, white because it's an ebook. So we're going to change it a bit. Okay. Make sure it has a little blue shade to it. There we go. Now, once you have done that, Now's the point where you're going to start adding in your text. Okay. And obviously you're going to want to make sure that your text fits in with this dotted box, as I previously told you. And once you fit it in with this dotted box, you're also going to make sure that your text is justified because most storybooks have the text justified. The text isn't, you know, roaming around. It's pretty standard and straight up. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to choose our story font. So I'm going to go with this font down here. Okay. So here we have it. And what you can do is you can go ahead and write one dark night, uh, you know, uh, let's say merchant John is passing by the ancient tombs of uh, Cleo. Patro or something like that. And once we have written some text, you're going to go ahead and make the text and make sure it follows the boundary rule. Once you've done that, bring it to the top like so. Okay. Once we do that, you're going to go ahead and justify the text. Obviously, we're going to make sure the text color is something that's much more visible. We're going to make the text bold. Okay. And you can obviously make the size slightly bigger. So once this is done, you can pretty much start writing your story as you go on. And uh, at the same time, you can pretty much add in your, you know, page numbers as well. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and uh, write the page number over here. Here we have one. Okay. Bring it down here. So there's one. Obviously do make sure that it's inside the bleed and your text goes on and on. So, you know, just adding text like this. You know, filling our storybook up pretty much. And just like this, you can add in whatever storybook design you want. And once you've done that, 
to continue the pages, just duplicate the pages as they go on more and more. And once you know, you've completed your story and all, what you're gonna wanna do from there is you're gonna go over to this share button. And once you go over to the share button, from here, you're gonna go over to download. And in download, you're gonna choose your file type. All right, so your file type in this case should either be PDF print or PDF standard. Obviously, we're not gonna be printing it, we're just gonna use it for ebooks, so PDF standard is the perfect uh, design. And once we've done that, you're gonna download it, and once we've downloaded it, as you can see, the PDF has finally started downloading. So once the PDF is downloaded and good to go, you can go ahead and make sure to check it out and look at this. Pretty incredible, pretty cool, and the, the design is pretty good as well. And the quality works for me as well. So what we're gonna do from here is now, we're gonna first add the description. So you can go ahead and write in ancient Egypt, a merchant boy comes across an artifact from the gods. How will he use it? And what, oh, let's say this, ed advantages will it bring in you know something like that so once you've done that you can go ahead and write keywords as well so let's say i'm gonna go ahead and write fantasy uh, magic let's go ahead with the children it's children's ebook let's go here and write novel let's go here and write um something like graphic novel Okay, so once you've written in your keywords, what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna go ahead and click on save and continue. Now, once you've clicked on save and continue, here it's gonna ask you for your manuscript. So it says upload your manuscript or books into your content. So for this, you are gonna wanna make sure that you have a KPF file. So I'm gonna go with this. You're gonna click on continue with PDF. You can convert a PDF to a KPF if you want to because there are converters. So PDF to KPF, you can go ahead and search those up. And look at that, you have all these converters. So you can easily go ahead and convert them if you want to. But as you can see, my manuscript is now uploaded. And once you've uploaded yours, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure to um, download this single page. So select pages, and I'm gonna select the first page only. And you're going to switch this to JPG. And now we're going to download it. And once our cover image downloads in the JPEG form, what you're going to do from here is you're going to come back here, click on upload your cover file, and here's my JPEG. So as you can see, it starts uploading. And as you can see, it says upload a cover you already have. Now, this is the reason I had you create a proper cover. So it's going to process both of these files. It shouldn't take a lot of time. And obviously, if you have the DRM to inhibit unauthorized access to copying your digital content, you can turn this on right now. But do know this, that once this is turned on, it can be turned off. So once you've done that, you can add in your Kindle eBooks, ISBN, and publisher number. I'm gonna skip that and click on Save and Continue. And once you do that here, as you can see, it starts preparing your files. So KDP basically processes your manuscript and your book cover, and it also requires a few steps and will take a several amounts of minutes. But yeah, pretty much it should do the job. So basically, if I were to go over all of it once again, to create an ebook and sell it on Amazon, all you're going to want to do is pretty much, first of all, sign yourself up with Amazon KDP. And whilst you're doing that, do make sure to check out other eBooks to see what kind of eBooks are on the Amazon space and what kind of eBooks actually get sold more. You know, what's about those eBooks that make them sell more on the market? So these are things that you're gonna want to get a strong idea of. And once you've gotten an idea of all those things, you're pretty much set to go. You're pretty much good to go because from there on out, you can work with all these things that Amazon provides you, work with all the categories that it provides you. And from there, uh, over to your Kindle ebook, just uh, work with ebooks main stuff. And do make sure that the PDF that you create over here on Canva for your ebook 
you do make sure to switch it to a KPF because KPF is a Kindle package format where only in that case, it's going to share your book. And also make sure that once everything is, uh, you know, uploaded and everything, you get a preview of how your Kindle book looks. Okay. Because without this preview, you won't be able to fully you know, get an idea of how your Kindle is supposed to look to audiences and, you know, more of that. So yeah, that is pretty much all there is when it comes to Kindle and how you can pretty much go ahead and get in your ebook sales, get in your passive income and how you can create an ebook in the easiest and most simplest way and upload it and sell it on your Amazon marketplace and earn good amounts of passive income. So that is pretty much all there is for this video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is all from me and I'll be seeing you all in the very next video. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.